breaking news about new SCOTUS pick. In 2011, D.C. Circuit Judge Brett Kavanaugh used a dissenting opinion to explain that semi-automatic handguns and rifles are commonly owned and therefore constitutionally protected. His dissent came in Heller v. District of Columbia, 2011, which was a suit challenging firearm regulations adopted in D.C. in the aftermath of the Seminole District of Columbia v. Heller, 2008, Breitbart reports. In Heller, the Supreme Court held that handguns, the vast majority of which today are semi-automatic, are constitutionally protected because they have not traditionally been banned and are in common use by law-abiding citizens. There is no meaningful or persuasive constitutional distinction between semi-automatic handguns and semi-automatic rifles. Semi-automatic rifles, like semi-automatic handguns, have not traditionally been banned and are in common use by law-abiding citizens for self-defense in the home, hunting, and other lawful uses. Moreover, semi-automatic handguns are used in connection with violent crimes far more than semi-automatic rifles are. It follows from Heller's protection of semi-automatic handguns that semi-automatic rifles are also constitutionally protected and that D.C.'s ban on them is unconstitutional. The Democrats are finding any and every reason for the resistance to protest and deep six the president's decision. Kavanaugh gave a brief speech introducing himself, his family, and describing his approach to his upcoming role on the nation's highest court. My judicial philosophy is straightforward, a judge must be independent and must interpret the law, not make the law, he said. A judge must interpret statutes as written and a judge must interpret the Constitution as written informed by history and tradition and precedent. This might just make the liberals and Democrats' heads explode and incite for violence against Trump supporters. Our nation is divided and people are seeing more and more violence erupt from the left. Chris Badger